Hello students of year four. Today we are in the last part of our topic. Okay, so today we're gonna see a quick revision of the comparison between weather and climate, the differences, and finally we're gonna see the climates of Spain. Okay, ready? Good. When we study weather, we see how much of this element, humidity, precipitation, temperature, and wind happen. The weather studied these elements at one time and at one place. Actually, as you have experienced, weather changes really, really quickly. One minute, you can see it's really, really sunny and we enjoy the sun. And the next minute, mm, bad luck. Suddenly, it's raining again and you see a storm okay but on the opposite side when we study the climate well we study these elements that we have seen before okay we study humidity precipitation temperature and wind but over a long time so climate doesn't change so quickly Actually, do you know these fun facts? Well, el clima habla sobre un patrón a largo plazo. So, para entender el clima, necesitarás estudiar el tiempo de ese lugar durante al menos 30 años. So, we have to study at least 30 years, a long time, to know a place climate. In the last video, we saw that the Earth has five different climate zones. Yeah, and I think all of you remember that Spain was mostly in the temperate zone. Well, today we're going to see that there are different climates within each climate zone. So Spain has also five climate regions. Well, we're going to start from the most different one. And this is the subtropical region. Okay, have a look at the map. Where can we locate the subtropical? Yeah, it's not in the peninsula. The subtropical happened in the, in the Canary Island. Yeah? Well, the temperatures are mild, mild and it's, it's dry, dry all, all the year. The year. Here we have some keywords that I want you to remember. Mild means suave. High is alta and low is baja. Okay, let's continue seeing the map of Spain. Well, most of the peninsula, in most parts of the peninsula, we are going to find these climates. Oceanic, mountain, continental, Mediterranean, and dry Mediterranean. Well, as we can see, in the northern communities, like Galicia, País Vasco, Cantabria, we find these mild temperatures and high rainfall. These are two important characteristics. Well, as you can imagine, this climate is called oceanic because all these regions, all these autonomous communities are surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean. So, well, as you can remember, the name Oceanic came from Atlantic Ocean. Well, let's see now these purple parts. Well, yeah, as you can see in Aragon, for example, we can see some parts are purple. And as you can imagine, is because here there are some mountains. Yeah. The mountain climate is really, really cold in winter with the snow. Yeah, in the Pyrenees, you can experience this. And on the opposite side, it's very hot in summer with rain. Well, I think everybody in this region in Aragon can remember the summer has hot and also with torrential rains. Uh, let's see now the last part. 
Well, most of the peninsula is colored in orange and in this type of yellow. Yeah, it's because this is the most abundant climate in Spain and is the Mediterranean one. But the Mediterranean climate is divided in two types. As we can see, the most predominant one is the continental Mediterranean. The main characteristic of the continental is that the summers are hot and the winters are cold. And another important characteristic is that the rainfall is very low. So las precipitaciones, las lluvias, son pocas. Um, the last climate of the Spain is called the dry Mediterranean. As you can see, let's point that is all around the coast and some parts of the interior of the peninsula. Well, the difference between continental and dry Mediterranean is that the temperatures in the Mediterranean is mild. So there is not so hot summers, there is no so cold winters. And also the precipitation is little. Well, this is quite similar, okay? Little precipitation means more or less that low rainfall, okay? But we can see that the Mediterranean seas and the island, the Balearic Islands, some parts of the coast and the majority part of Extremadura and Andalusia, and the Comunidad Valenciana and some parts of Catalonia have this climate. Well, finally, I have some questions for you. Please remember to copy this in your notebook and send me a picture through Google Classroom. Okay? So I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. And remember, see you soon.